Bill Science Lab, sponsored by ESB's Generation Tomorrow program, supporting initiatives that help young people develop key skills in science, technology, engineering, arts and maths. Now, are you looking for an activity to entertain and educate your kids, or even your adults this morning? The science guy, Phil Smith, is back with us, and today we are putting my outstanding balancing skills to the test. Uh, what is the experiment we're doing today, Phil? Good morning. Good morning. Well, but they said you were such a well-rounded and balanced individual. I thought we would test this. Um, we're literally doing... Emphasis on the well-rounded. Well-rounded, yeah, maybe as we're in uh, lockdown, <laughs> well-rounded is probably going more true. Uh, what we're talking to do about today was simple kind of balance games. And the, what we talked about previously was kind of how tinkering, how you'll start with one thing and explore. And that's kind of what we're going to do today, about tightrope walkers, balance, and a few other things. Okay. So very simple kind of start. Uh, you've got two bamboo sticks in front of you, like that we'd have, or kebab sticks, sometimes people call them. And i just like you to put them together uh, overlap the ends a little bit and then put a bit of tape around them so that you've got to go one long stick. Uh, there we go, like that. Uh, okay, so far, so good. Uh, so far, so good. So you should have one long stick. And all I want you to do is to take two marshmallows and to stick one on each end. I love the way you use marshmallows. Okay. Perfect. And all I want you to do is to try and balance that in the middle of your finger. Perfect. Yep. Let's Got start it. Off. Yeah. Perfect. Wow. And that's and that's where we leave it today, Phil. No, I'm joking. <laughs> We're never going to do a whole routine where you're spinning. No, no. Um, the thing about this is that you're seeing that something is of equal weight on each side, and you've got a marshmallow from roughly equal size, and you can balance it. And that's what yeah. is what exactly what's happening. But there's something I don't know if you've ever heard of the the law of the lever, which is yeah, I think someone had said that if you give someone a long enough pole, you can move the earth. So the further away you are from something and the, the, the way you can change the, how it acts. So we've built another apparatus, which in the video, as you may have seen, you should have something that looks, mine is a little bit more colourful, but you should have a long pole near you, Tommy, with yes. tins of beans on it. It's basically a, a broomstick yeah. with two tins of beans taped to one side and one yes. taped to the other. That's what I yes, have. Yes, exactly. Um, I mean, like, again, blowing the budget for this, but <laughs> what we want to do is try stuff that we have at home. But you'll see if you hold it sideways that the tin of two beans are kind of halfway down one half, and then the other one is down the end. So there's yeah. a weight difference. So the double of the weight is at one side, and uh, um, so you've got to go one at one side and two on the other. What I want you to try and do is to find the balance point in the middle of all of this by moving your finger halfway along to see where it is. And we're going to see what that is exactly. It should be roughly in the middle. Tommy, this is where your skills okay. as a circus come in. No, no, gone too far. So if it's going down one side, you how, move it How come it's roughly down. in the middle, though? Surely the weight of the... Yeah. No, the weight okay. of the... So this is the clear thing. So the thing, everything about this is the further you go away oh. from the fulcrum, which is the balancing point, the middle point, the, the kind of the larger you're increasing. So it's the distance by the oh, weight. Oh, right, so okay. Here we oh, and distance there, by two. When you multiply one by two, you get two. And this time, you've got twice the distance with one weight. So you also get two. This is perfect time. I, like, I, I know I'm sitting here. Got it. Here. Got it. Fantastic. People don't know, by the way, that Phil helpfully put a little X on the, <laughs> on the broom handle just to help me. I did. <laughs> I just realized. Now. Thanks for that, Phil. Um, I, I didn't want to catch this. Uh, but it's roughly in the middle. So you're seeing that you've got twice the distance on one side, yeah. but twice the weight on the other with half the distance. So this okay. is where the balancing point is. So, so it's you a, can build your own equal. Halfway down the broomstick, different. but the heavier weight, the, the distance of the lighter weight being further away yeah. has the same impact as the heavier weight being it, closer. It, Exactly. So have the distance double the way. Perfect explanation, Tommy. Thank okay. you. So it's the it's the distance that you go away from the fulcrum, okay. that balancing point that you can. So you can construct your own kind of versions of that. Okay. So like you can get very simple, like the marshmallow one we had before. Or I did make one for you as well with right. chopsticks. So yeah, the I other thing here. I want how balance is useful in lots of different ways. So this will potentially it's harder to balance at the moment. But if you take two weights which are, should be two molar balls. I want you just to stick them on the end of the chopsticks. I've red ones, you should have yellow ones. Uh, and this is to do with tightrope walkers. With tightrope walkers, what they're trying to do is to, to lower their inertia, which means that they're harder to move. So the more weight that they have means they're more likely to, 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 to not move. 
but also that if they lower their center of mass, so the weights you'll see are actually below where your finger is. Uh, is it working? How are we still getting on? So if you have it, maybe turn it the other way. There you go, perfect. See, so something that was on the tummy, you're, you're so poised, you're like a statue. <laughs> uh, it's, it's because your center of gravity has lowered as well that it's less likely for you, are more stable that way. So stable, in fact, that you should potentially be able to balance this on your nose okay. if you feel brave. Okay, hang on a minute here. Hang on a minute here. Yes. We were going well. I was, but look, everything's got so... We, this was only a maybe. If they Balance it on my nose. Bit. So the same, the same yeah. spot on the contraption. Yeah, there you go. It should be working. Oh, like, God. I okay. mean, the best... Well, oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Come on. Let's see. I'm just hearing okay. I'm working with stress. No, no. Just I, tip your nose. Have you got a... Tip. I haven't, I haven't come to this. There we go. It should be working, Tommy. Look, I mean, this is the quality television that people tune in for. <laughs> All right. We were pushing it. We were pushing it. But these are the things that you can try. The things that we love people to send in is like their own versions of this. Like, see what, you don't need to have to make it out of wood or bamboo. You can make it out of anything. So send in your pictures of your versions of your balancing contraption and where you oh, can balance. There you go. I got it. Aha! It always works eventually. Phil, brilliant stuff. Thank you so much uh, for joining us and explaining the concept of balance. Brilliant. Uh, grab your sequined number and a feather boa. I got them just over here because dance pop queen Sophie Ellis Bexter will be joining us after nine. Alan and Karen have already caused murder on the dance floor in times past, so it's about time we see how to really boogie. That's at 9.35. Stay with us. Phil Science Lab, sponsored by ESB's Generation Tomorrow program. Supporting initiatives that help young people develop key skills in science, technology, engineering, arts and maths.